um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. So, so here you have the CEO of a consultancy team that adds diversity, instructing people on how to convince their AAA company to hire consultancy teams that give diversity. Because obviously, there's no other way to have it. Like companies do not have staff that are in-house. They do not have writers that are in-house. No, the only possible way in the entire world in order to get diversity is to hire consultancy team. Uh, a little bit of a conflict of interest. They, they don't report this in the press, funnily enough. Like, they, they will say this is a conspiracy theory. Yes, a conspiracy theory that is pushed by the CEO of the company. Like, maybe she should have her account shut down for spreading harmful and dangerous conspiracy theories made by Russian hackers or something. Uh, but anyway, the Steam Curator Group, which does absolutely nothing besides tell people, hey, this company that's extorting AAA developers has worked on this game. That's it. That, that's all that it does. Um, it's still drawing the ire of these people. And now it's at 200,000 members, despite the best efforts of them to stop it. So, so you have this gentleman coming up, and they're bringing statistics. And these are not statistics in order to try to find the truth. No, these are statistics that I've done to persuade people, because obviously... Uh, the moment you see some numbers on the screen, the moment you see percentages, you should drop everything that you experience in real life. So, uh, you know, up till that point, uh, all your lived experiences, everything you observe, everything you talk with other people, all the communities you go into, uh, you, you need to dismiss all that because you have like some percentages on the screen. And they're like the word of God, you know? It's like Moses coming down from the mountain with the tablets and showing, look, this is what God said, so you shut the fuck up, right? And by the way, completely unbiased source, mind you. Just, just like, th these are like people that are desperately trying to search the truth and they're not doing some agenda in order to justify a grift. No, no, no. Like, this is purely unbiased. These are like the researchers, the scientists that have discovered within like the last four years, they, they discovered... How to make amazing games. That, that's why AAA is doing so well right now. I heard that every single AAA company is hiring because they have so much profits, record profits this year. Let's look at the uh, the things, right? So 200,000 members, that's 0.07% of the total gamer population. Like, like I want you to understand that this is the man showing me the statistics. Like if he can't even interpret the numbers from his f fidged data, why would I trust everything else that he says? So according to Newsos data, 64% of the player thinks diversity is important. Right, so this is the bait and switch that they like to do. What they mean by diversity is something completely different than what you understand by diversity, right? So like if you ask a random person of what diversity is, they all think, oh, so like Japanese games, right? Or, oh, games like Neverwinter Nights or Barter's Gate that allows you the opportunity to play as different races and genders, right? Like, this is what most people understand by diversity. So, like, of course, most people will say, yeah, sure, games should be diverse. But what they understand by diversity is that you need to hire consultancy groups. And you need to have, like, the, the black lesbian lady in a wheelchair. You need to make sure that no character has tits. You need to make sure that you don't use the word woman in video games. Instead, you need to use body type A, body type B. Uh, you need to make sure that you're insulting towards the player and that you allow the members on the staff to give sass to the gamers on Twitter. That's what they mean by diversity. And if you would explain it like that to gamers, I guarantee to you that most of them would not support it. And then uh, you, you also <clears throat> have to think, it's like, what, what does like the total number of gamers have to do with anything? Like, we're talking about like specific video games like Suicide Squad, Justice League. Like, we're talking about the games that Sweet Baby works on. Like, Sweet Baby doesn't work on phone games. Nikkei doesn't hire consultancy groups, which is why Nikkei makes money. Nikkei is like a money printing machine. They go like, just, just making cash nonstop. With as little investment as possible, right? Sweet Baby has nothing to do with them. So when you talk about gamers, you shouldn't like talk about all of the gamers, because we're not discussing about those, right? Like I'm sure like people who play phone games are still gamers, but they're not part of this conversation. So if we're talking AAA, especially games like Gotham Knights, I, I would com 
competed with Batman Arkham City, which sold like maybe 10 million copies in total. So having like a 200,000 group of people uh, on a Steam curation, and they're constantly growing. Because they, they have a beat, they have a style, like they're still growing. If you're talking like about a video game that was incredibly popular, and it sold only a couple of, of it sold only a couple of millions of copies. Two hundred thousand is actually a huge number, and when you also think that most gamers do not go on Steam in order to be part of the Steam curator thing, right? Like most gamers don't do that. They they talk on Discord. They have different forums, right? This is an astonishing number, which is why they're freaking out about it. Because think about it, like like. If this number didn't matter, if they genuinely felt, oh, it's just like a couple of gamers of the, why would they even talk about it? If anything, talking about it makes it grow bigger. Why is the Guardian writing pieces about it? Why is PC Gamer and Kotaku and, and all of these analysts and they're coming out of the woodwork if it doesn't matter? I mean, it's just 0.07% of the player base. Notice how they're not talking about my channel, for instance. I'm pretty sure like they know that I exist, they, they, they're aware. That, that commentators and creators uh, that exist on YouTube talking shit about them. They're not talking about us because that, that would actually give us publicity. So it would make it worse. But they are talking about this because it upsets them. And as I said in the previous episodes, what, what, what really upsets them, they, they will try to bait and switch or do red herrings and shit. You need to understand, they're not afraid that gamers will boycott companies. Because they know that won't happen, right? Like that, That's not their primary concern. They are concerned that now, when companies are trying to cut costs, they are concerned that the gravy train will be over. They are concerned that companies are going to say enough and they're going to cut off the grifters. That's what they are terrified of. They don't give a shit about anything else. So like the, this whole thing, like the, if, if this whole grift is built on extortion, which is basically hire us as consultants so that you don't get outrage on Twitter, so that you don't uh, get targeted by cancel culture. Because remember, like, AAA games used to get targeted by co uh, cancel culture all the time. Until they started hiring these consultants. So what's basically happening is, like, the companies will say, well, what exactly are you providing? What is your service? Well, we provide diversity. Like, no, no, no. We, we got our own writers for that. Like, we, we can hire gender studies majors that, that can do that. At a much cheaper price than you can. Like, what what exactly are you providing? And they can say, well, you know, um, we we can make sure that you get, don't get cancelled on Twitter. And it's like, but what pool do you actually have? Like, you, you can't even take down a uh, 200,000 member Steam account. You don't even have that pool anymore. 0.07% uh, of all gamers, and you can't shut that down. And, and you're, you're, you're thinking that you can threaten us? Like we got PR teams ourselves. We we have also connections to journalists. We're, well, AAA, we've been in the industry for quite a while. We, and not to mention, like, fuck the, the game journalist press. We, we have access to Twitch streamers. Like we can start a beta, give Asmongold uh, the ability to, to give his subscribers CD keys if they watch him for, like, five hours. And we can do that, and we can share our game. We don't need the gaming press. We don't need you guys. And you guys don't have any pool anyway. You, you, you can't create any controversy anymore. You can't, you can't damage our reputation. Your reputation is in shambles. This is why they are absolutely terrified. And this is why they keep trying to shut it down by demoralizing the gamers, saying, oh, well, you don't matter. Okay, you know what? You're right, we don't. So why do you care? We don't matter, right? Like, just, just do your own thing, right? Like, just, just mind your own business, walk away. Like, no, nothing that we do matters. Absolutely, you're correct. Let me know what you guys think, though. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.